Hey everybody, it's Irene with Brainstorm Makers. And this afternoon, I said I would come back and plant a few seeds once it got a little cooler. It's a teeny bit cooler now, but I want to share something super exciting that sort of surprised me, but I suppose I shouldn't be surprised because certain veggies can pop up really fast. So first let me share you the excitement and then I will plant a few seeds. It's hard to see, but right there is the first pea <laughs> from our great 2020 pea experiment. Now, if you remember, we planted peas in this 162 cell seed starter and we planted peas in these two rain gutters and we've also planted peas outside and the first one to come up now actually the 162 cell was planted I think a day before I'll double check that I've got it written down and then these guys were planted and then I planted the stuff outside so we'll see but whoo, I was excited. I know, just a silly little sprout, but silly little sprout could be like the ultimate hope sometimes. Anyway, so this is where I'm gonna plant next. This is just a chunk of an old tray that came with annuals in it from a big box store. I cut it in half so it would fit into one of these industrial baking tin sort of things. I mean, you know, these are the throwaway ones. I think I actually have two. Yeah, these are actually nested two, mostly because I, I needed more space to store them. Some of them do eventually spring a leak, but they work good enough for this. And all I'm going to do is get these guys started. I've got some potting soil already in there. I know potting soil is not the ideal thing for seed starting. I normally prefer a seed starting mix. I am going to put seed starting mix on top of this. This has already been watered so that it's nice and damp because it was quite dry and let's get going. This is not brain surgery. I have four different sets of seeds here. I have Pak Choy, I have Salanova Sweet Green Crisp, I have Salanova Red Low Oak Leaf, and I have Salanova Green Butter Oak Leaf. Now all of the Salanova is pelleted, which means instead of dealing with itty bitty teeny tiny seeds, I'll be dealing with <laughs> little round balls. My goal is simply to get like two in each here. Jack is excited because he heard his daddy come back to town and he wants to go out and see him. But me and old mom is making him stay in here. <laughs> so that's probably the first time anybody's heard Jack talk. <laughs> ah. My pocket's ringing. My pocket is ringing because it's time to come close the greenhouse for the evening. I'm sitting in the greenhouse. There we go. Hopefully that'll be quiet now. So I have those there and this will get a qu an eighth to a quarter of an inch of soil over the top of it. Actually, seed starting mix. Next is Green Crisp. As I said, these are pelleted. And these should be sewed an eighth of an inch deep. Okay, so I'm seeing a pattern here. <laughs> I'm just going to put one in each. That's very high germination rates. So we'll see how that goes. Then the red oak leaf, which is also an eighth of an inch deep. I know, Jack, the door is squeaking because I didn't put a rock against it. And you want to go see your daddy. We'll go see daddy in just a minute. And you can see how large those are in comparison to a regular lettuce seed. 
makes it so easy to handle. And then the green butter. Now this was just such an amazing lettuce. Oh, God, we ate so many salads that <laughs> were green butter this winter. And we endured them all. It was very sad when they finally bolted, but gosh, we had them all winter. So I guess you can't complain too much. Well, you could, but it wouldn't exactly be reasonable. Okay. Now, as you'll notice, I'm only starting four cells for each plant because I want to do this again in another week or so. Basically, I want to wait till these guys are up and then I'm going to do it again because I want to go for some succession planting here. That's always been the hardest thing for us to try and figure out how soon to plant the next plants so that when these get exhausted or whatever, or eaten or whatever, <laughs> that you have more behind it. I think a lot of people have trouble with that personally. So let me put the seed packages away and my phone so nobody gets watered. And I'll get the seed starting next. And I'm just going to sprinkle in a little bit on top of these guys because these do not like to be buried, any of them. It's not nearly as nice as the seed starting mix I got from Paul's Tools. They use Pro Mix. This is Miracle Grow. But I'm trying to save the Pro Mix for the really good stuff. This has got way too much crap in it. But, oh well. It is what it is. It'll be fine. It's better than most of the seed, than most of the potting soils, which are generally way coarse. I have way too much junk in them. Okay. Everybody's covered. And the nice thing about seed, using a seed starting mix, it's it's light, it's fluffy, the, it, the seeds don't have to beat their way through a piece of cement to get out of the dirt. <laughs> Just makes it a lot easier. Okay. Up. I like to keep this mix this moist. The easiest way to do that simply with a by keeping your bag closed. Woo. Okay, good enough. Now that's not the ideal way, as far as I'm concerned. I want a, a finer mist, but I didn't wash anybody away, so we're fine. And that's all it takes to start some seeds. So I'm hoping this will inspire you guys to start some seeds too. It's that time of year when it's really hard to know what to do. Two weeks ago they forecast that we would have a warmer February, a warmer March than usual. A lot warmer. And they weren't sure about the water. So then all of a sudden it turned to a warmer March and storms. Rain. Okay, we haven't had any rain hardly all year so far. I think up until this point uh, we had an inch and a half of rain since January 1st. So we were dry. We were definitely in the drought zone. So we were excited about that. Now it's telling us that next week maybe snow instead of rain. <laughs> so, and we're supposed to be down not in the 30s, but 30 as maybe even a little lower. So I guess we'll see what happens when it happens. But I hope this inspires you to do your homework. I've been doing a lot of homework. I've been doing lots of planning and all that sort of stuff. And it was time to get at least a little bit of planting done. So now we have a few seeds in the ground here. Actually, in a, not exactly in the ground. In my mobile ground. And hopefully in a few days, they'll start sprouting and we'll go on with the next phase of this crazy springtime. I'm going to cover this up with a little dome to help keep the moisture in. And we'll see you next time. So be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when we're doing something else. And follow along with us this spring while we plant all kinds of stuff and get to have some truly yummy food. Oh, and we do cooking videos too because both of us are pretty darn good cooks if I do say so myself. So, 
Take care. Have a great week. And bye. I am cute. Let's hear me roar. A puppy too. <laughs> it says she pointed the camera at me. Ah. <laughs>